there are many uses of the plane mirror, convex lens and concave lens. They are used in optical instruments. Can you name some examples of optical instruments? Click on the word optical instruments to view some examples. Telescope, periscope, microscope and the pinhole camera. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to Identify the parts of an optical instrument involved in image formation. Draw ray diagrams for light rays passing through an optical instrument. What is a pinhole camera? A pinhole camera is a camera without any lenses. It is the earliest optical instrument created. A pinhole camera consists of a box with an inner surface that no light can escape from. A pinhole is pricked through one end of the box and a translucent paper screen is fixed on the other end. Can you describe what is the characteristics of the image formed by the pinhole camera? The image formed by a pinhole camera is always real and inverted. The size of the image is dependent on the distance of an object. Can you explain this? Drag the arrow at different object distance and observe what happens. The image is smaller when the object is far. The image will become bigger if the object is closer to the pinhole. Drag the arrow at different object distance and Do you know how objects at the surface of the sea can be observed from a submarine underwater? These objects can be observed by using a periscope. A periscope functions on the principle of the reflection of light by plane mirrors or glass prisms. It is used when our vision is blocked. Do you know how a periscope works? Both plane mirrors in the periscope are placed parallel to each other at an angle of 45 degrees. This makes the angle between the incident ray and the reflected ray as 90 degrees. The plane mirror can be replaced by a glass prism. Parallel light from a distance object enters the first plane mirror at the top of the periscope. This light is then reflected onto the second mirror. A virtual image which is upright and the same size as the object is observed on the second plane mirror. Do you know how distant objects such as planets and stars could be observed? These planets and stars are observed by using an astronomical telescope. It has a two-lens system which consists of an objective lens and an eyepiece lens. The objective lens has a long focal length. The eyepiece lens has a shorter focal length. It magnifies the real image produced by the objective lens.
the eyepiece finally forms an enlarged and inverted image. Do you know that small objects such as tiny organism can be observed? These small objects such as a tiny organism can be observed by using a compound microscope. It has two lens system which consist of an objective lens and eyepiece lens. The objective lens has a short focal length which has a very high powered magnifying glass. The object placed outside the focal length of the objective lens is formed as a real inverted image which is just inside the focal point of the eyepiece. The eyepiece which serves as simple magnifier uses the image at as its object and produces an image. The images formed in the microscope are always at virtual, inverted and very much enlarged. Complete the ray diagram above to show the image formed on the screen of a pinhole camera. Your answer is correct. What happens to the size of the image if the object 1. is near to the pinhole camera, 2. is far from the pinhole camera? The image formed becomes bigger. The image formed becomes smaller. C. State the characteristics of the image formed if the pinhole of the camera is made bigger. The image formed is brighter but blurred. D. Try this activity in the lab. What will happen if there is more than one pinhole on a pinhole camera? Drag and drop the correct mirror A and mirror B into the empty box in the periscope and click the check button to check your answer. Your answer is correct. Click on the correct answer. Which of the following is not true about a pinhole camera? A. The image becomes brighter when the pinhole is enlarged. B. The number of images depend on the number of pinholes. C. The image becomes larger when the object distance is reduced. D. The pinhole camera is suitable in photographing moving objects. Your answer is correct. The image formed on the screen of a pinhole camera depends on the 1. Size of the pinhole 2. Number of pinholes 3. Distance of the object from the pinhole camera That's not right. Please try again.
Your answer is correct. Which of the following do not use a convex lens? A. Telescope B. Microscope C. Pinhole camera D. Magnifying glass Your answer is correct. Which of the following statement is true about the astronomical telescope? A. The objective lens has a short focal length. B. The astronomical telescope consists of a convex lens and a concave lens. C. The eyepiece lens magnifies the real image produced by the objective lens. D. The objects viewed in through the astronomical telescope are always at infinity, real and upright. Your answer is correct. On what principles does the periscope function? A. Refraction of light B. Reflection of light C. Dispersion of light D. Scattering of light Your answer is correct. In this lesson, we learned that Plane mirrors, convex lenses and concave lenses are used in optical instruments. Plane mirrors, for example, are used in periscopes, an optical instrument that can be found in a submarine. Distant objects such as the planets and stars could be observed by using the telescope. Small objects such as tiny organism can be observed by using a microscope. The Hubble Space Telescope is a joint project of ESA and NASA. It was launched in April 1990 by the Space Shuttle Discovery into a low Earth orbit 600 kilometers above the ground. The Hubble Telescope is a technological advanced optical instrument and has become one of the most important science projects ever. Click the info button to learn more interesting facts about the Hubble Telescope. Help astronomers to solve some long-standing problems in astronomy. Help to refine the age of universe by measuring the distance of various stars. Discovers the protoplanetary disk, which is evident for the presence of extrasolar planets around Sun-like stars. Capture various images in the space, including images of stars forming pillar.